What's up? My name is Brent from Cineblur.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at a basic concept inside After Effects called compositing. I shot a short film at the beginning of the year where I had to composite a crewman out of the frame with the actor staying in the frame. So we had to do a little bit of masking and take him out, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Like I said, it is a basic technique in After Effects, but you need to learn it because its application can be used in so many different scenarios. So let's take a look here. Here we have the original. There's the actor and it was shot on a tripod. That's very important. Make sure you shoot it on a tripod. If you shoot it handheld, it will not work. You could try to stabilize it and make it work, but there's always going to be this perspective shift and it's just going to drive you crazy. So shoot it on a tripod to save yourself later. So here we go. This guy is walking in the middle of the desert and then enter the guy with a leaf blower. So obviously we got to take that guy out. That's what we're going to be talking about today. He hits him with the leaf blower and his robes are blowing and that was the whole effect we needed. We needed the wind to just be blowing this guy over. Like his robes are flying, his hair's flying in the wind and then, you know, he eventually falls to the ground. And so we just needed that high-powered wind, and that's why we had the guy with the leaf blower. And then I call cut, and you can see them kill it. So we need to go from that to this, right? There's no guy with a leaf blower. He turned into a giant orb of light. You would never know he was there. Okay, so back to the original. Here's what we're going to do. We're basically going to cut Curtis out and paste the plate under it. What I mean by the plate is... This, these first few seconds, this was shot in slow motion, so a few seconds actually equals a lot of seconds, but these first few seconds that we shot, the right half of the frame, there's nobody there, intentionally, right? So I knew I was going to use that as my plate. I got a few seconds where no one was walking, that's my plate, and then I said action, he did his thing, and then Curtis runs in. So basically, here's what we need to do. I'm going to cut Curtis out with the pen tool here. I'm also going to get his shadow, because don't forget, we got to cut that thing out too. And I'm also going to go all the way up here, because at the beginning, you'll notice that Curtis walks right there. So we need to cover that up too. And the leaf blower kind of peeks out right about there, so I'm going to make sure we include that in the mask. And I'm going to kind of watch it just to make sure. Okay, it's still peeking out, so I'm going to extend the mask just a little bit more. Look at the leaf blower technique. Yep. Money. That's why he gets paid the big bucks. Professional leaf blower operator. Look at that. See, it went out of the frame there. It went out of the mask. So I'm just going to have to, I'm going to make this mask actually really big just to make sure. So I'm actually just going to delete some of these points just to make it easier and just make this mask a whole lot bigger. Kill that one, kill that one, kill that one as well. And... We're golden. So now we have our mask around Curtis. Now, if I press MM, it'll bring up our mask settings. I'm going to change it to subtract so it cuts them out and we're left with the frame. And I'm also going to feather it just a little bit, something like 20. Okay, so we are almost there. Basically, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to duplicate it, Command D to duplicate that layer. So now we have two identical layers. On this bottom one, this one's going to be my plate. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the mask. I'm going to solo it just so we're not confused what we're looking at. And I basically want to cut out the part that Curtis walks in. So I'm going to go right here, right before Curtis walks in. I'm going to end the layer there. And then I need to duplicate this layer to extend it out the rest of the time. So I'm duplicating it and I'm moving it. And there's a little bit left over here, so I'm just going to duplicate it and move it one more time. So now if I unsolo my duplicated layers, you'll see that the actor walks. And then there's no more Curtis. Magic, right? I know. Um, there's a little bit more doctoring that I did to this shot. For instance, I added a little bit of handheld shake. The entire rest of the film that I shot was handheld. So this shot is on a tripod, so it would stand out like a sore thumb if we didn't add handheld shake. So the way I did that was I used a preset on my website called handheld camera and you just grab it, drag it onto your camera or your null object and you're in business. One other effect that I did was I added this bright white light because that was kind of the whole point of the scene. So I used optical flares which is a video copilot plugin. It's a lot of fun. It's basically a little flare generator 
that you can customize and you can do a bunch of cool stuff. So if I wanted it to seem like this guy was like meeting an alien, I could totally do that. Uh, and then the other layer that I added was a simple white gradient that was just there to brighten up the ground and brighten up the, the grass in the back. So those two things combined and then I I uh, moved the flare a little bit, brought it in, brought up the brightness, wiggled it just a little bit, and then uh, yeah, we're in business. So the basic part of that tutorial was the compositing because compositing is why After Effects exists. So you can do little simple stuff like that. So say you were shooting like an interview or like a talking head or something where your camera's on a tripod and your actor's looking into the camera doing his job and then in the background somebody walks across and like stops realizes he's on camera and then like turns around and walks out of the frame right what you can do as the director you can just let it play as long as he didn't cross behind the actor it's going to be a very easy composite you can literally do it in about 20 seconds in premiere instead of after effects so a lot of times fixing it in post is the lesser of two evils because if you stop the action in the camera then you stop the momentum you have to reset for like 10 minutes but if you, sh if you fix it in post, it's only gonna take you like 30 seconds. So it's the lesser of two evils. So sometimes fixing it in post is the best option. You can actually do this in Premiere as well very fast and here's how. Okay, so in Premiere I have the exact same shot. I'm gonna hold Option and duplicate it. And then I'm gonna go into my effects controls if I bring it in right here. And I'm gonna add a mask so I'm gonna click this little pen tool and then I'm gonna draw a mask just like we did earlier around Curtis right and we're gonna go way out here something like that so now Curtis if we invert it Curtis is gone right if we bring in our bottom layer make sure we don't have Curtis in there something like that duplicate it get those duplicate it get these duplicated and then in Premiere we just did the exact same thing right and it took like less than a minute so yeah that is basic compositing um, in After Effects and a little bit in Premiere it's a very simple technique that you need to learn and it's great to have even if you're not a full-time visual effects person it's great to have that technique in your back pocket anyways my name is Brent Pierce thanks so much for watching you guys have a fantastic day